is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. A bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, after much anticipation, I know for two months I've owed you guys a new episode of DSP Tries It, okay? And I haven't really found anything significantly interesting to do for DSP Tries It until now. Ladies and gentlemen, for a limited time only at Burger King, the Nightmare King Sandwich. My favorite fast food, fast food, fast food, right? Ladies and gentlemen, depression is caused by eating fast food. Didn't you know that? It's here for Halloween. It's incredibly disturbing. It's one of the most unhealthy things I've ever seen. It's an abomination to man. And it looks like tomorrow I'll probably be trying it and doing a DSP tries it on it. I want to go out to buy a, a disgusting, dripping, greasy mess. Fucking try to eat it on camera and fucking just vomit and retch all over the place. That's what I want to do. DSP tries it. Yeah, that's a great idea. What is the Nightmare King? I'll tell you what it is. It's a burger... It's a chicken sandwich, and it's on a green fucking bun. It's both. It's uh, a, a quarter pound beef burger with cheese and bacon and onions. I love the red meat, all right? And cannibalism. With a chicken, you know, breast, breaded fried chicken breast on top of it with some kind of condiments and a green pa burger patty. Like, like, or not green burger patty, a green bun. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. I can't wait. I'm Pretty crazy. And guess over a thousand calories in this burger, over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> 1,800 milligrams of sodium. All right, that sounds good to me. I mean, does this thing come with a coronary bypass as when you eat it? Now, the good news is, guys, I have not been eating a lot of fast food, okay? I used to. Admittedly, I used to eat a lot more fast food. I have barely been eating fast food at all recently. As you guys know, I haven't done a DSP Tries It since February. <laughs> I discontinued the series. So in this case, going the extra mile to bite the bullet and eat this thing for DSP tries it, I should survive, okay? But that's a good thing. I can only do this once in a blue moon. I can't be eating this kind of shit every day. It's terrible for you, all right? So I'll be trying this out tomorrow. I'll be recording it and hopefully maybe editing it. And I don't know when I'm going to release it. I'll probably release it this week. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll release it live during the Halloween Horror Marathon on Wednesday. <laughs> How would you like that? The live Nightmare King DSP Tries It edition. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. And then I'll release it over on the King of Hate Vlogs or something afterward, right? All right. Because I, I owe you guys an episode, if you remember, way back when in the summer. Um, what was it, August? It was either July or August. I can't even remember. But we exe far exceeded the sub goal for that month. And I said that if we far exceeded it, I would just do something random. And people were like, oh, just do a special DSP Tries It. I said, all right, I guess I'll do it. But I never really found anything good to do. This just sounds like something. If I'm going to take... DSP tries it out of out of retirement. This is one of the zany things that I would like to do it for. You see what I mean? Like, I just want to do it for any, any old little new burger with a condiment slapped on it or something. But this is fucking weird. A green bun, a burger, and a chicken sandwich in one. Um, let's now do the plugs segment of the stream where I do some shameless shilling. Changed it over the years to make money. To shill and make money to children. The shameless plugs, the shameless promotion segment, which I do once a day. Plugs, 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 help me, help me, money, money, money. Give me your money. All right, how about that for quick plugs? That was pretty abridged, huh? You guys think I should just do it like that every day? Because I'm okay doing that as long as people still contribute. Then I'll do it that way. What did you guys think of that? I'm just tired of it. <laughs> I'm serious. I just want, I wanted to be like, I feel like I'm talking with you guys and hanging out with you when we talk on these pre-streams. 
I don't want it to be like I'm, I'm advertising to you. I'm tired of that shit. This shocks me. I am. I'm, done. I'm just, like getting so tired and done with it. But, you know, it does serve a purpose. There are new people who come into the streams every day and don't know about this stuff. But that's why I do feel at least every once in a while I have to do it. But I just don't want to fucking waste time on it. I wanna, especially when this season, when I'm in the midst of so many new games and I want to jump into the games and play them. I don't want to sit here for an hour and a half pre-stream because I'm advertising to you guys. You know what I mean? Shout out! <laughs> and I'm going to say up front here to Genetic Gamer, although I appreciate his cheers, he asks a lot of questions that are incredibly long and he expects giant answers from me. And I don't want to spend 40 minutes answering his questions every morning. So even though he asked me two questions overnight, I'm sorry, Genetic Gamer, I'm not answering them today because I find every day I'm answering your questions at length. And I just don't want to do that. Phil is a thief and a liar who steals from his fans constantly. So I'll just say this. Guys, just be, beware of uh, basically fibbers. Um, so thanks for the cheers, but... I'm not going to answer these questions. One of those questions was about people attacking me on Twitter about the gaming media and shit. And I'm not going to talk about that. I, it's not even pertinent to today's stream. The other one was about nerd geek culture going into an unmanly thing. I don't know. I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm sorry. I just don't feel like debating these things here on the pre-stream, okay? <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Then Rush Lumber Shoot again. I just got done eating a chicken wrapped in bacon strips. And some rice. It was delicious. Ever had tried any food that literally gave you orgasms? No. I can tell you this. Literally never have I been eating... And it caused me to have some kind of sexual response. No, that never happened. So, <laughs> never not once. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Alright, so now moving on to people who cheered during the pre-stream. Third out of the third says, Do you think you look older or younger for your actual age? I think you look slightly older than 36. I'm assuming the stress you've had to deal with the last 10 years is a major contributor to that. I've always looked older than I am. When I was in freaking high school, I had a full mustache and beard. And people used to, like, I, I remember, people, I, I, people who would meet me for the first time, would be like, oh, you want to go out drinking? And I'd be like, huh? I'm like 17. <laughs> like, oh, shit, really? Yeah, I'm 17. I, I can't go drinking with you. Um, no, when I, when I, even when I started on YouTube, I thought I looked way older. You know, I was in my, my late 20s, and I thought I looked like, you know, much older. I always have looked much older than I, than I am. Um, now I think, fi maybe now my looks are finally, you know, my age is catching up to my looks. No. Fuck you. You're a liar. Because once you get to your late, your late 30s, 40s, that's considered over the hill. Like, you're in your midlife, right? Middle of your life, and, you know, that's kind of where I'm headed. And, you know, so maybe I finally look, look my age. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Jubaka cheered. And he says, Not sure if you heard, but after 28 years, Apu will be removed from The Simpsons due to being offensive. What do you think of this? Since you grew up on the show, a lot of people are pissed, and rightfully so. Uh, I think it's stupid as fuck. I think that if they do remove him from the show, it just shows that the showrunners have lost touch with reality. And the fact that the entire show is based on generalization. Every character is a generalization of a certain race or a certain age group or a certain gender group. Like, they all are. But that's what they're meant to be. So, you know, the world of The Simpsons is supposed to be a generalized view of American life. And it's supposed to be meant to be over-the-top, you know, stereotypes and generalizations because it's, it's not meant in a malicious way. It's not saying, oh, yes, Apu has many stereotypical things about him being from India because he's an Indian immigrant to the United States and he owns a quickie mart and all that. But it's not saying that's bad and it's not saying that he's an asshole or, you know, it's not meaning to denigrate the fucking race. It's meant to be kind of a, a funny observation. Much like if you ask Jerry Seinfeld, Chris Rock, or many other stand-up comedians from the 90s about this modern SJW world, they will tell you because they've been outspoken about it. They fucking hate it. They say, we can't do comedy anymore because comedy apparently, you know, that used to be... Everyone's intelligent enough to understand we're just joking and doing general observational humor. Everyone gets offended now because they're all special little touchy snowflakes and they can't take a joke. They don't understand that we're not trying to offend them. We're trying to make a funny, oh yeah, that's true about that thing. That is a, a generalized thing that can be a generalized funny observation. And that's what a poo is. But, you know. These idiotic morons who don't fucking understand reality and they live in these sheltered fucking lives of protectionism and you know oh my family's rich and shit so i get in my way my whole life oh my god i can't believe it. i'm so offended by apu you know this is their major thing to be concerned about and sadly you know reality of one day will hit these people in the fucking face when they realize that's not what life is really about but when you live a sheltered life on social media and all you know what i mean I, this becomes the forefront of your existence i guess but yeah, it's terrible. If they really get rid of Apu, that's bullshit. And I think what's going to end up happening is the show's going to die. And I mean that. Like, if anything, The Simpsons has been an unstoppable dynamo for almost 30 years. This will be the thing that kills the show. So, if they go that route, they're done, in my opinion. I'm just saying. All right, so Big Binge cheered and says, 
what is up with Nightmare King Burger ad on the pre-stream? It's not an ad. It's just me showing I'm going to be trying this for DSP Tries It this week. That's why I added it today to build up some hype for DSP Tries It. It's not an ad whatsoever. In fact, I told you guys I think it sounds gross. It sounds disgusting, insanely high calories and sodium, probably one of the most unhealthy things you can buy. I don't think that's an advertisement. Uh, third out the third shoot again and said, reach out to Burger King for a sponsorship deal. It won't hurt to try. Dude, what do you understand about I will not get mainstream sponsorship deals? I am an honest dude. What? 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 I do not kiss ass. I haven't had sex in ages. <laughs> Can you attest how I treated you right? What do you Never. Think? You're an awful person. The rumors are true, guys. What can I say? You know what I mean? I, you know, I, they're never. I'm never going to get a mainstream sponsorship deal because I will not be a paid advertisement for something. I won't be a shill. I'll be honest. And that burger, or that, that sandwich, looks gross and probably is one of the most unhealthy things you can buy in fast food right now. Uh, you know, they're not going to pay me to fucking do it. See what I mean? I don't know why people keep having these crazy thoughts. And then third, the third says, oh, someone who's banned whispered him. I don't care. Don't tell me about that shit. Block that person. Wow. Orcs or dorks cheered. He said, did you know you could braid your horse's hair? I did it. It's sweet. Yes. I get to choose a horse, huh? Just fucking give me anyone. I don't care. Give me the horse on the left. It's probably the best horse. That's why he doesn't want me to have it. I like that one. Fuck you. Well, I got my horse. <clears throat> All the different hairstyles. I saw them. Um, and I chose a mohawk and some crazy hair colors, which is pretty neat. <laughs> Third out of Thursday, can you clarify between a Twitch bounty and a mainstream sponsorship? Sure. And a Twitch bounty is you just play a game, you're honest about the game, and it's considered promotion because you're getting hundreds, if not, you know, more people watching you play that game, and that's why you get paid for it. A paid sponsorship, meaning play this game for us and say certain, certain points and advertise positively for us, means you can only be positive. Like, a lot of these people who get games early and are... are entitled to playing them way before any of us they're told you can't say anything negative about the game you can play the game but because there's a review embargo you can't say anything negative about our game you can play it but you can't criticize it and to me that's completely dishonest i would never do anything like that so when i if i do a twitch bounty okay i can say whatever i want about the game as long as it's honest that's why i do them but paid advertisement basically being a influencer or a shill for a product or game means you can't say anything negative about it and i would never do that silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. I'm small potatoes. All right? I'm small potatoes. Burn in hell, Burnell. And now I'm going to burn in hell for the rest of eternity because of it. You can't change who you are, I guess. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.